they both outline some of the efforts uh, that we've gone to to try to uh, both help voters and also work with uh, Republicans to stop some of these uh, measures that they're putting forward. Um, we want to review a little bit of how the Republicans have been hurting Ohio voters. Uh, besides all of their legislation that hurts voters, they now have filed their own lawsuit to again try to grow out ballots. Just last night, we found out that the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals ordered the Hamilton County Board of Elections to count provisional ballots from a still unresolved 2010 judicial election. Instead of celebrating this victory for voters, Republican leaders filed suit in the state Supreme Court to again try to throw out provisional ballots cast by registered Ohio voters. Not only is this lawsuit outrageous on its face, it also could cost hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars to litigate. They will stop at nothing to throw out Ohio votes. Republicans have also hurt voters when they thwart Ohioans' right of referendum at every turn. The lawsuit that they filed last night thwarts the referendum by trying to get the Ohio Supreme Court to implement provisions from House Bill 194 that would make it harder to count provisional ballots. Secretary Houston thwarted the referendum when he unilaterally eliminated the last three days of early voting. Republican legislators are also trying to thwart the referendum with Senate Bill 295, which also reenacts harmful provisions from House Bill 194. The right to referendum is enshrined in Ohio's Constitution. When voters choose to exercise their power to check the legislature, we in this body must respect that. Republicans need to stop ignoring the voters that put House Bill 194 on the ballot and stop fighting the counting of votes. They need to stop this aggressive effort in Senate Bill 295 to reenact laws before the voters have their say. And they need to stop being on the side of absurdity when it comes to Ohio's provisional ballot laws. The U.S. Constitution guarantees to people equal protection of the laws. Ohio's Constitution has its own Equal Protection Clause that says, quote, all political power is inherent in the people. Government is instituted for their equal protection and benefit. The Republicans' voter suppression efforts ignore these guarantees of equal treatment. Thanks for being here, everyone. We came here today to talk about our efforts to work with the Republican leaders on how we can ensure a smooth election this fall. Last week, we outlined in the letter to Speaker Batchelder our three consensus building suggestions toward that end. Instead of an answer to that letter, we were met with a lawsuit that again attempts to thwart the referendum of House Bill 194 and suppress Ohioans' votes. We hope to stop these efforts to hurt voters and instead work together to ensure a smooth election this November.